My name is Louis Corman. I'm an attending gastroenterologist with Metropolitan Gastroenterology Group, Capital Digestive Care, Washington, D.C. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to discuss our work on force monitoring technology. The current paper in gastrointestinal endoscopy entitled Effect of Propofol Anesthesia on Force Application During Colonoscopy is an observational multicenter study designed to determine whether force monitoring technology could be used to measure differences in force application when patients are given moderate sedation as compared to propofol anesthesia. This work, supported by a grant from the National Institutes of Health Small Business Innovative Research Program, is designed to develop, test, validate, and commercialize a simple handheld device which characterizes endoscopist behavior by measuring the force applied to the insertion tube during colonoscopy. We know that endoscopists differ in the techniques they use to perform colonoscopy. In 2010, we published a study in gastrointestinal endoscopy which validated the concept of quantifying and characterizing endoscopist application patterns by demonstrating significant differences among them. Some use more push, more push force and others use more torque force. Each endoscopist has a unique signature that characterizes their technique. Our most recent paper extended these observations by demonstrating higher maximum push force and torque force and shorter examination times when patients received propofol anesthesia. Again, as endoscopists, we knew that more force is likely to be used with propofol and that examinations were quicker. This study quantifies those differences more precisely. We believe this observation is important because the increasing use of propofol as a method of sedating patients. We understand that with propofol, pain response is completely abolished. This makes it even more important to understand how technique is changed and how much variation there is among endoscopists. For example, in our studies, we noted that some endoscopists use less force than other endoscopists who were performing their examination with moderate sedation. That is, even with propofol, some endoscopists use less force than others. This reinforces our hypothesis that force monitoring could play a role in skill development and assessment. These studies were limited in that they were observational. For this reason, we've developed a next-generation force monitoring device, which we plan to use in a randomized trial of propofol compared to moderate sedation and force monitoring. In this study, the individual endoscopist patient will be randomized to receive either moderate sedation or propofol anesthesia. This should help us to understand how much an individual endoscopist changes their technique when the patient is more deeply sedated. In addition, we'd be interested in understanding how much variation there is among endoscopists under these different clinical conditions. The next generation force monitoring device, developed in collaboration with R10 laboratories and based on user feedback, is easier to use, maintain, disinfect, and is still capable of providing accurate measures of force application. This device is based on a hinge model and uses electromagnetic force sensors rather than load cell sensors. The device grips and releases the scope insertion tube during colonoscopy and continually records force in both longitudinal and rotational directions. These recordings are in real time and provide feedback to the user or can be used to calculate a variety of parameters that reflect the forces used by the endoscopist. 
We believe that force monitoring technology can assist in training endoscopists by establishing specific behavior patterns that can be emulated and by assessing individual behavior patterns. In addition, force monitoring could provide endoscopists with a method of assessing their own techniques. We believe that this technology could identify specific clinical situations that require different techniques or even different instrumentation. For example, patients with prior surgery or markedly redundant colons, those who use propofol over moderate sedation. In all of these circumstances, understanding how force is used, how it can be modified, should help us improve the performance of colonoscopy. Our goal as endoscopists and as researchers is to better understand how colonoscopy is being performed and how it can be performed with a higher level of skill and safety. Thank you.